Mr. Lipson, you were a stone thrower, paint tosser, slasher, arsonist. You weren't Matisse, Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Da Vinci, or any great artist. You were a cantankerous old fart, a painter of happy trees against mediocre landscapes. You defaced two pieces of my artwork in Aunt Celia's and Uncle Henry Stuyvesant Town living room as my parents sat without intervening. The pen and ink boat capsized under fault finding. My lack of perspective by lack of experience. Even the lighthouse couldn't be saved. Your words deliberately smashed the day glow pink bottle, rotting the cheery flowers and fruit in and around the ceramic bowl. Too two-dimensional and amateurish. Even the bowl cracked under pressure. Not one word of encouragement for an artist struggling with pimples and self-worth. An artist simultaneously disappearing from her craft. The pictures were intended for Aunt Celia. She left space for them to hang on the family art wall. But instead, they were, they went into her closet. A few years later, Aunt Celia handed them back to me. She said they wouldn't fit in with her collection, but I saw that she made room for others. I didn't argue. Instead, I became a stone thrower, paint tosser, slasher, arsonist. I can never be Matisse, Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Da Vinci, or any great artist. Nor could I become a cantankerous old bag a painter of happy trees against mediocre landscapes, remnants of the pen and ink boat and, light and lighthouse and the day glow still life were unceremoniously donated to the Museum of Garbage. <laughs> Years later, I became a writer and poet. But I'm not Dickinson, Kerouac, Basho, Wolf, or any great writer or poet just someone who writes without pen or ink, wondering what would have happened if Mr. Lipson read my work. Thank you. <laughs>